What's going on YouTube? Yankee Cowboy back for another video. Just chilling here in the studio tonight guys doing more research as I always do on, on stuff I need to get either for the channel or just in general. But I've been mulling around getting a new camera, a pro camera for, uh, for the studio for when I go to the range just to have a good pro camera once and for all. Uh, I'm shooting now my Canon EOS M6. Love this camera. It's a mirrorless micro four thirds camera. And I'll still be using this as probably a B-roll camera or something just a little more portable. But like I said, I want to get a dedicated camera for studio work and for when I go to the range and just in general. So I've been tossing a lot of things around, guys. And, you know, I, I think I settled on the A. Well, I know I settled on the AX700 from Sony. It's a 4K camera. They call it a prosumer camera, but it's pretty much pro level. The only difference between a full pro level is it doesn't have the handle on the top with the XL, XLR inputs for a microphone, which I'm never going to use anyway. I use a Rode mic. I get great audio with it. And I don't need broadcast inputs because I'm not a news anchor. I'm a YouTuber, creator. So it's going to be perfect for me. So it's pretty much a pro level camera. All manual functions on it. So it's it's pro level. And it doesn't have the it doesn't have the prosumer menu in it. This one actually has the pro menu as the professional cameras. The next camera up from this is the Z80, then there's the Z Z90, and those are full-fledged broadcast cameras. And they all this this one shares the same sensor as those other two. This one has a one-inch stack sensor, and in the camcorder world, guys, a one-inch sensor is pretty huge. It's a little smaller than what I have here on this Micro Four Thirds, but in the camcorder world, it's it's pretty big. I'm pretty comfortable with Sony, guys. It's, it was between Canon and Sony, but I started out on cam, uh, Sony camcorders many years ago, and here's my old camera right here, guys. I shot 99% of my videos with this camera right here, this little Sony Handycam. This is HD. It's It served me well, but this is just, you know, these things are antiquated. But this could be like a, a C-roll camera, something I could throw out in the field where I'm shooting or whatever. I'll use this Canon for a B-roll, but the... The Sony FDR AX700 will be the main camera. I ended up going to Best Buy. They price matched it for me, and I'm pretty pretty comfortable. They had a good deal because they were giving away an extra battery and $25 to Shutterfly, which I'll probably end up using you know, for the kids' pictures or whatever. I'll use that. But getting the spare battery was key, and getting it price matched, I saved a couple hundred bucks off, off the original price, which was good. But I'm going to swing the camera around. I have it loaded up here on my computer. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here it is, guys. The Sony FDR-AX700. This is pretty much what it looks like. Like I said, it's got all manual controls on it. This thing's, you know, this thing's pro level. It's a pretty sharp looking camera. It's got a nice lens hood on it. It's got a great screen on it. It's got the hot shoe on the top where I can throw my Rode mic on there. All customizable buttons. It has a dual SD card slot, which is nice because it's just unlimited amount of recording. These uh, cameras, like this camera I'm filming on now, you can only record, I think, 15 or 30 minutes worth of time, then it, then it times out. So this is what I'm going with. This is the Sony AX700. Pretty excited about getting it. This thing's a pretty pro-level uh, camera, and again, it's 4K. So I'm pretty pumped, guys. Had to order it because Best Buy didn't have it in stock. They're not going to stock a $2,000 camera, so I got to wait for it to come in. But, you know, it should be in next week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's hop out for some final thoughts. All right, guys, so some final thoughts on my new purchase, my new Sony AX700. I'm pretty pumped, guys. Pretty excited to get it. Should be here uh, next week. Also, I got a couple things uh, coming to me. A company reached out to me to review a couple of their range bags. I'm not going to uh, reveal the name of the company yet until I get the product, check it out. I have checked them out online. I'm pretty excited to get it because it's comparable to, comparable to my GPS Tactical range bag. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Maybe I'll leave a card up here to it. But great bag. GPS Tactical is really good. And these bags that these this company sent to me, they look really good as well. So I'm pretty excited about uh, reviewing those. And I'll, I should have the new camera by then. And we'll shoot it in 4K. Maybe we'll do it outside so we can you know, get some nice footage in the 4K. Or I'll shoot it down in the studio. It depends. But pretty excited for that. All right, guys, that's it. This is just a quick little update on what's going on and what I've been mulling around for the past couple of weeks. I figured I'd share it with you guys. So if you guys have any questions or comments on any of the stuff that I uh, talked about tonight, the AX700 or my Canon EOS M6, leave them down below. 
and we'll see you guys in the next one.